10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Engines full power. And lift off Falcon 9. Go Axiom. It's one alpha. <laughs> Copy, one alpha. Together we expand what is possible in low Earth orbit. Add Astra and Godspeed AX2. Eco. Two alpha. Stage separation confirmed. Copy, two alpha. And back ignition. Stage one, boost back start up. All right, stage separation. We've lit the second stage engine. The first stage is into the boost back burn, working its way back towards Cape Canaveral. Beautiful view of planet Earth coming to us from the second stage views on the right hand side. Left hand side, our first view of the Space Coast once again. This booster is attempting a landing at LZ-1. Stage one, transonic. Standing by to... Stage one, landing leg deploy. There you stage can... Stage one, landing confirmed. You can see that first stage has landed back at LZ-1. This is the first time that we have performed a land landing on a crew mission. Pico. All right, on time shutdown of that second engine. Also confirming that the launch escape system is now disarmed. Dragon SpaceX, nominal orbit insertion. All right, and there's that call out. We can confirm good orbital insertion. Copy, nominal insertion. Dragon separation. And wow. There you can see <laughs> live on your screen that dragon, dragon. trunk and capsule. That's a really cool view. Dragon That's actually SpaceX launch director. A very great flight. Uh, wish you safe travels. A few words from our chief engineer as well. Thanks for putting your trust in the Falcon 9 team. Hope you enjoyed the ride to space. Have a great trip on Dragon. Welcome home to zero G, Peggy. We docked at 8.12 a.m. Central Time this morning, so a little over an hour ago, to the Node 2 Zenith, or space-facing port, which is where you see the crew now. They are flying over the country of Chad, 256 miles above Earth. So the Dragon Hatch is not open yet. Uh, we've still got some things that we need to work through on the SpaceX side as well as on the NASA side to make sure that we're ready to welcome the AX2 crew members aboard. After after launch yesterday at 5.37 p.m. Eastern Time, Dragon made its way to the International Space Station, conducting a series of burns and uh, checkpoints along the way. While aboard the space station, the AX2 crew members are going to conduct a plethora of scientific research, as well as conduct STEAM outreach with uh, students and other educational organizations here on Earth. And we have our first views of the Axiom crew members floating aboard. First is Commander Peggy Woodson rejoining the International Space Station. Next up is pilot John Schaffner making his first visit. Also on his first trip to space, you can see Ali Al Karni representing the Saudi Space Commission. All smiles as he floats through the Dragon Hatch. And rounding out the Axiom 2 crew, that's Rihanna Barnawi, also of the Saudi Space Commission. The crew of the space station is now 11 crew members. Big smiles from Rihanna Barnawi. She is now the first female Saudi to go to space. Houston and SpaceX, congratulations on a beautiful launch and a beautiful docking. It is great to have new friends up here. And so on behalf of Expedition 69, uh, it's an honor to welcome our new crewmates.